What's up, fams? It's your boy Hectendo, and today I'm going to show you guys how to do the power supply paperclip test. Now, the paperclip test may sound stupid, but it works. Now, before I attempt to do the paperclip test, just know that this may lead to serious injury and death. If not, use caution. Before attempted to do the clip, paper clip test, make sure that your power supply is fully off and is unplugged. Now, what does the paper clip test does? What it does is it basically tests your power supply if it's fortacy or DOA. DOA means dead on arrival. Um, now, you could just test the power supply by just connect it up to your motherboard and your rig and pressing the power button to see if it comes to life. If it comes to life, it's working. But let's say that you don't have any available CPU or RAM slots available and you know you just want to make sure to see the power supply is working. That's when a paperclip test comes in. So, so basically what you need is at least make sure at least one fan is connected to your power supply um, because if you got to make sure your power supply needs to make sure it is on load because if it's nothing, if, if, if there's no peripherals connected to the power supply, it's not going to read as load and it's not going to turn on at all. So just make sure one peripheral, it could be a hard drive or fan, just make sure one is connected to the motherboard, I mean to the power supply to make sure that's on load. Now, you're gonna need a 24 pin or 14 pin ATX motherboard connector. If you have a modular, a fully modular um, power supply, make sure it's connected. Or if you have like one of those power supply that comes with all the cords jumbled up together, I mean, this is, it's gonna be included. So, um, and you're gonna need a paper clip. So, what you wanna do is you wanna take the paper clip and you wanna bend it and make sure it is a U. It, have, it could be a U or V. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I just want to make sure that there's a little space between them. Now, you're going to locate your 8, your 24 pin or 14 pin ATX connector. Now, ATX connectors come, come vary by color. Um, most ATX connectors are color coded. If yours are color coded, it's much more easier for you guys because all you have to do is look for a green cord. Which is the power cord, which is the power, the one that gets power to the, to the power supply. And just connect the paper clip to that. And you're going to connect it to the, any of the black cords. The black cords on a ATX 24 pin or 14 pin is ground, which is, which grounds the power into the power supply. Now, if your ATX connector does not have color coded, um, what you have to do is when to make sure this notches up right here. And you want to count the pins start from the top right here, not from the bottom, from the top right here. So I want to count one, two, three, four. So the green, which is right here, um, this is the this is it's in the fourth pin, and that's your green cord on the black all black ATX connector. And what you want to do is want to connect the other piece to any of the black cords. Um, just connect, just make sure there's two spaces right there and connect to this pin right here. It doesn't really matter which one you connect to, just make sure you don't connect to the bottom pins because it's not going to work. Make sure it's in the, in the same row as the green connector pin, which is right here. Okay, so after you've done that, you want to connect your power supply to the wall. And... When you do this, just flip the power on and it sh you, should hit, sh you should hear fans and your hard drive spinning like this. So you can see that my power supply is fully functioning. Now, don't mind these two fans right here. Um, the main reason why it's not connected is because... Um, those two fans are connected to the motherboard, which this which needs this cord to be able to connect to power these two fans. The hard drives are spinning all three of them, and the SSD is fully functioning. 
the C drive in the front is also connected and turned on. You can see. Um, so here comes the cautions part. Never, I repeat, never make sh make sure they do not come cut with this paper clip. If you touch it, you will lead to serious injury or death. Also, make sure that that metal piece is not touching any of the case materials because it could lead to sparks and fire in, in your rig. If you want to end the test, simply flick off the power switch and unplug from the power supply. Do not touch anything after you come to 10 seconds or 5 because even though you unplug or turn off the power supply, there's still current running into the power supply and its peripherals. And you want to make sure that you don't touch it. So that was 10 seconds. You can remove the power pin, I mean the paper clip, and then that's it. And that's how you do the paper clip test. So thank you for watching my video. Like, comment, subscribe, and follow my Instagram at trini.keem.